so let's learn the finger style for mera man by falak shabir so this song is in the movie notang ki sala so you need a capo and you have to place it on the third fret of your guitar so if you don't have a capo i will put the link of this capo in the description so there are three parts to the song first we have the intro then the verse and then the chorus so let's learn the intro first the intro it goes like this quite simple first you need to hold the c shape the c chord and you you need to strum from the fifth string till the second string so no need to play the first string only from the fifth till the second string do a strum then you place your little finger on the third fret of the first string and pick the first string with your index finger So let's do till then. Then you place your little finger on the third fret of the second string, and you pick the second string with your index finger, and then pick the first string open with your middle finger. So let's do it all together. After that you go to the A minor chord and you do the same thing which you did with the C chord so you first play strum from the fifth string till the second string and place your little finger on the first string third fret and pick the first string with your middle finger place your uh, little finger then move your little finger up to the second string third fret and pick the second string with your index finger and pick the first string open with your middle finger so let's do it from the a minor so let's do it from the start till the a minor part then we go to the f chord and we strum from the Sixth string till the first string, so we strum all the strings. So strum with your index finger like this. So then we strum. Then we place our little finger on the on the first string, third fret. Pick it. Then first string, first fret. First string open. So let's do it till there. So let's do it from the F chord. Let's do it from the start till the F. After that, you hold the G chord. and you strum from the 6th string till the 2nd string no need to play the 1st string and then you pick the 6th string the 2nd string and the 1st string all three together and then you pick the last bottom two strings three more time so let's do it till there so c shape strum minor f g after this we go into the verse so let's learn the verse now the verse it goes like this
quite it's not so easy the verse because you need to use this the back the slap technique you have to slap and you have to strum at the same time so you have to learn that technique so it's you so for the slap technique you need to hit the hit hit and at the same time you need to strum so if you don't know the slap technique i will just show you quickly so you need to first practice just just practice slapping the strings after that slowly practice slap and then strum strum with these three fingers just do this one so slap and strum slap and strum slap and strum then slowly it will get quick and you will be it will be easy for you to slap and strum so then you have to do it on the chord so you have to hold the c chord and do it okay so for the starting of the verse we hold the c shape then we slap and strum on the c shape after that we place our little finger on the second string third fret and pick the second string with our index finger then pick the first string open two times pick it with your middle finger so then pick the second string third fret once more so then leave the little finger from the second string third fret and you are into the c shape once more so then slap and strum again on the c shape then place your little finger once more on the second string third fret and pick the second string with your index finger then pick the bottom string that is the first string open two times so let's do it till there. then we go into the f chord we hold the f shape then we slap and strum on the f shape then we leave the index finger from the first fret of all the strings which is, then we pick the first string open then we place it again on the first fret of all strings so it goes like this then leave it once more and pick the first string open so then bar once more on the first fret of all strings and slap and strum so then leave the index finger from the first fret of all strings so so then we place the you bar once more on the first fret of all strings and pick the first fret of the first string two times so so let's do it from the starting the verse A minor shape and you slap and strum then you place your little finger on the second string third fret and pick the second string with your index finger pick the bottom string two times pick the second string third fret so let's do it then leave the little finger from the second string third fret so you are in the A minor chord slap and strum Let's do it today. Then hammer on from the first string first fret to the first string third fret. So let's do it today. Then pick the second string third fret once more. So. Then 
hold the G chord and you pick the sixth string, the third string and the second string together. Then you pick the sixth string, fifth string, fourth string, and pick the third and second string together with your thumb and index finger. So let's do it from the G shape. Then pick the second string three more times. So let's do it from the G shape. Then you hammer on from the first fret, from the first string open to the first string first fret, and then you pull off from the first string first fret to the first string open. So, so let's do it from the G shape. So let's do the verse till there. After that, you hold the C shape once more and you slap and strum. Then you second string third fret you place your little finger on it and pick it with your next finger pick the first string open two times second string third fret so then leave the little finger from the second string third fret and slap on the c shape second string third fret little finger and pick pick the bottom string open two times so Then you go to the F shape and you slap and strum. Then leave the first fret of all strings. Pick the first string open. So then bar on the first fret of all strings. Pick the first string first fret. So and pick the first string first fret once more. So it goes like that. And first string open. And then place, hold the F shape and bang and slap and strum. So, then first string open, first string first fret two times. So, so then we go to the A minor shape, we slap and strum. Place your little finger on the 2nd string 3rd fret, pick with your index finger, 2nd string. Pick the bottom string 2 times, open. So, 2nd string 3rd fret once more. Leave the 2nd string 3rd fret and you are on the A minor chord, slap and strum. So, then pick the 1st string open. So, then hammer on from the 1st string 1st fret to the 1st string 3rd fret. Then pick the 1st string 3rd fret once more. So let's do it there. Then you go to the G shape. Pick the 6th string, the 2nd string and the 3rd string all together. And then pick the top string, 3rd fret, 4 more times. So, so let's do it from the A minor. So let's play the whole verse slowly once.
after this we go into the uh, main chorus so this is the last part so let's learn the chorus let's see how it goes For the start, we place our index finger on the second string, first fret, and we pick the second string with our index finger. But we have to pick it and quickly leave release pressure. But we have to continue to touch this touch the second string, first fret. So, so you need to create this kind of sound. Then you got to do the same thing on the first string third fret. Place your ring finger on the first string third fret and pick it with your middle finger over here. So quickly apply pressure and then release pressure but continue to touch the first string third fret. So, so you are touching the string over here. You are just touching the string. You are not pressing it on the fret. You are only touching the string. And same thing you are doing over here. So after that you go to the C shape, pick the fifth string, the second string and the first string together. So let's do till there. Then we pick the bottom two strings on the C shape two more times. Then we pick it once two more times again. Then we pick it once. So So it's around five times we are picking it. After that, we pick the second string first fret, first string third fret. So let's do till there. After that, we go to the A minor chord, pick the fifth string, the second string, and the first string together. And then we pick the bottom two strings five more times. The same way how we picked with C, we do it on A minor. So let's do it there. Then we hammer on from the second string first fret to the second string third fret. Then we play the first string open. Then we go to the F shape and strum. So it's like that. Let's do it till there. Then we pick the first string on the F chord. So we are picking the first string first fret. So strum. So let's do it till there. Then we pick the first string open. We leave the index finger from the first fret of all strings on the F. So let's do it till there. Then we pick the second string first fret. Then we hammer on from the second string first fret to the second string third fret. So let's do it there. Then we go to the G shape. And we pick the 6th string, the 3rd string and the 2nd string together. Then we pick the bottom 2 strings 2 times and then 2, two more times. So let's do till there. So let's do till 
let's do from the start till here. So you can pick it also, you can pick it five times like the same, like the C. Like how we are playing for C and A minor, but it's your wish. Whatever you want. If you like to play it, or you like to play it like this. Whatever you want. So I'll play it once more. Then you do the same pattern once more. Do the same pattern only till the A minor shape. So the C, C chord what we played in the first part of the chorus. Then you play this. Hammer on from the second string first fret to the second string third fret. Then you pick the first string open. So let's do till there. The second part of the chorus. Then you hold the F shape and you strum. Then you pick the first string, first fret on the F shape. And leave the first fret on the F shape and pick the first string open. So then second string, first fret. Once more, once more, so then hammer on from the second string first fret to the second string third fret, then pick the on the G shape, you pick the sixth string, the third string, and the second string. So let's do it from there. Then pick the second string third fret, second string third, first fret, second string open, hold the C shape, pick the fifth string, the third string and the second string. So let's do it from the F. That ends the chorus, so I'll just play the chorus once. And that's how you end the full song, Mera Man Fingerstyle.